Recently, I participated in a public bug bounty program from HackerOne. While testing the target, I found an endpoint vulnerable to out-of-bound XXE attacks. If you don't know what XXE attacks are, these are attacks that abuse a widely but rarely used feature of XML parser using which an attacker can perform either an SSRF or a DOS attack. An OOB attack is when an attacker could leverage parameter entities to steal sensitive data by sending this data to the attacker's website by performing an XXE injection. The funny thing with my target endpoint was that even though I was getting a DNS callback, I was not getting any HTTP callback. On searching a little about this behavior, I found two awesome videos by Stock. One is about how he used a blind XXE OOB over DNS to get a P1 bug and also how you can set up your own Pine 9 DNS server for OOB exfiltration. I went through both the videos and I must say that these were quite educational. However, the setting up of the Bind9 DNS server used Amazon and GoDaddy for the server and the domain respectively. I usually use Namecheap to buy domains and DigitalOcean for my server needs. Therefore, I found this a bit tough to follow. After researching a while, I was able to create my own DNS server for exfiltration. And in this video, I'll show you how I did it. So if you buy a domain from Namecheap.com and you have a server on DigitalOcean, you can do the same thing. Having said that, you can make your own server for DNS OOB exfiltration using any server providers and domain providers if you follow similar steps. So let's begin. First, I'll create a new droplet. I'll simply create an Ubuntu droplet and I'm going to use this configuration and I'll use Amsterdam as my data center region And now we have a public IP address. Let's log in to test this. So we can see our server, which can be accessed via public IP address. Next thing I will do is I'll go to my Namecheap domain and this is the domain that I have created. You can check it from your domain list and just simply click on it. Here you will see four tabs, domain, products, sharing and transfer and then finally advanced DNS. Once you click on this tab, just go down till you see name servers. If you search here, right now I do not have a name server. Let me add one. I will choose NS1 and put my IP address. Done. Similarly, I would add another one this time NS2 and would make it point towards the same IP address. I'll click on search and now you can see that I have two name servers NS1 and NS2 both pointing towards the same IP address. Now I'll go to the domains and here in the name servers I would click on custom and then we'll copy the data from our advanced DNS. I'll just quickly go back, go down, click on search, copy. 
be my name server. Custom DNS. NS1 and NS2. And I would save this. Now, please note that the DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect. So the next thing we do is we copy this awesome OOB server repository to our remote server. This is an amazing repository to help you create your own OOB DNS server. You can find all the details here. Once you set it up, all the DNS responses could be logged down here in this named.log file. Of course, for this to work, we need to do the same things that I just performed on my Namecheap account. So now, let's clone this repo. And let me set up this. So for me, it would be and okay, maybe not the best idea. I'll just do a setup my domain name and the IP address of my VPS, which is this. And now I have my Pine 9 server set up. Let's quickly go to the repository. And we should be able to see the data here. But again, this may take 48 hours to actually take effect. So for now, I'll just it's usually less than 48 hours, but let's just see. And now, if I make a request from shitnuck.com, let's see if we get any response. Yes, we did. Similarly, if I'll do a different subdomain, I should get a similar query notification. This way we have our OOB DNS server set up. Now you might be wondering why do we need a DNS OOB exfiltration? Why can't we have a simple webhook like webhook.site where we could directly exfiltrate everything using HTTPS? This is because there are some cases where you might not be able to exfiltrate data via HTTPS. I came across such a website where I was able to perform a DNS lookup, but I was not able to send an HTTPS request. By creating your own DNS OOB exfiltrator, you can simply put as many domains as you want and use them to exfiltrate data. As you can see, Everything before your root domain can be used to exfiltrate data. You can use it with your external DTDs for XXE injection. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions regarding DNS OOB exfiltration, please feel free to ask me. I hope you learned something new. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.